See what this is? Craft Recordings. This must be the uh, reissue, remaster, re-everything of the Charlie Brown Christmas that I ordered. The four CD set. So let's open this sucker out. Here it is. There's the bill, the invoice. Very nice. Pipe sticker right there that I'm going to try not to rip because I'm that kind of a person. Look at all this. Disc four di oh, five discs. Oh, yeah, it's a Blu ray audio. 2022 stereo mix. I am curious about that because I can't imagine. Now, this is a trio, Vince Garaldi trio. So you got uh, the bass, you got the drums, you got the piano, and of course, you have the singers. So I can't imagine there were many tracks on the tapes. In, uh, this was recorded, what, 1964, 1965? Oh, oh, there you go, 1965. <laughs> Actually, yeah, they probably had four-track tapes, and I know that some studios would use up to eight tracks by synchronizing two different four-track machines together. So maybe there could be uh, an interesting remix on this, but uh, the YouTube copyright police probably won't allow me to put some samples in this, so you just have to use your imagination or just get this yourself. And, okay, collectors the world over are in shock that somebody's breaking this out of the shrink wrap. There's a reason it is called shrink wrap. It is because the wrap shrinks, and if you don't let it free, it's going to damage the uh, insides. All right. Oh, this is sweet. Look at that. The opening scene. Snoopy's official debut. I know they're the Peanuts characters weren't on TV sometime before in a commercial or something, but you know. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, look at that. We got a note from, uh, it appears to be the Mendelssohn family. Oh, an intro from them. Uh, why Charlie Brown Christmas was amazing, blah, 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 probably nothing we haven't already known. I, mean, I shouldn't say that. There might actually be some interesting history here about how this stuff originated. We got some pictures of Vince right here. Ah, uh, look at that. This is really well done. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's Okay, that's either the tape box or the session sheet. It's got to be the tape box, actually. Because if it were the session sheet, we would have a list of uh, musicians. And, okay, yeah, look at that. More tape box stuff. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, it's a tape box because there's the uh, inches per second. 15 inches per second. Good. That's what you want your studio tapes to be at, uh, if not faster. Three tracks. Wow, not even four tracks. They used only three tracks. So there were only three tracks, at least on this particular tape. Wow. So there's the uh, original album with a new mix, the stereo mix. There's the original stereo mix, so if you prefer the old one, you can have it. We got some session outtakes. That's really cool. I am a big fan of session outtakes. Uh, we have another tape box, another 15, uh, another 15 inch per second three track tape. Whitney Recording Studio. Don't, I've not never heard of that place. It's in Glendale, California, which is right outside of L.A. Fun fact: on American Idol, when they would tell auditioners "Welcome to Hollywood," eh, they were actually going to Glendale. <laughs> More recordings. So, oh, look at this. Look at this. Isn't this cool? I've never seen that label before. Wow. Oh, that's... Oh, good grief. Ooh. That appears to be a B... Yeah, it's... Yeah, okay, that's... There's a fun fact for you. The B-side of Linus and Lucy was... Um, oh, good grief. Both songs, both tracks were on jazz, imperson jazz impressions of a Charlotte... Hmm. Jazz impressions of, it should say, a boy named Charlie Brown. That was the uh, documentary that was made in 63, 64. That was never actually aired. At least it wasn't aired until many years later. Blu-ray audio. What's cool about this is if uh, standard CD quality of um, 44 
uh, 44.1 kilohertz and 16 bits isn't good enough for you, you can listen to it in 96.24 or 192.24. Atmos Mix. Oh, man. Most of these super deluxe editions that come out now come with Atmos Mixes or at least a link to download them from. I don't have any Atmos playback thingies. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to know how that sounds, but... Oh, Scotch Magnetic Tape. These were the uh, real... That these were the real tapes that you wanted. That's what all the studios preferred. That's what all the producers preferred. Oh, look at that. We got some... Uh, oh, the Vince Moraldi trio. They, they actually had different drummers and different bassists. I did not know that. See, you're learning something by watching this video. Capitol Studios. Ah, uh, that must be a uh, fun fact for you. Capitol Records in Hollywood is not at Hollywood and Vine, despite their claim. They're actually a block north on Yucca and Vine. <laughs> Tommy Steele. I know I've heard that name before. Wow. Project Assistance. Mason Williams. Is that the classical gas guy? Let's see. Uh, oh, look at that. Special thanks to uh, the Charles Schultz Museum. Inside. That is such a great place. And it's very inexpensive to visit, to go there in Santa Rosa, California. Bill Melendez. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a piece of the script. Another picture of Vince. I think that's Vince. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, look at these CDs, too. Oh. I don't know when that label design is from, but it's really cool to see that here. We have another one of the same. Okay, they're all the same uh, design. Let's see. I think this is the Blu-ray. Yeah, they all have that. Uh, none of the copies of a Charlie Brown Christmas that I have have that particular label design, I don't think. I think I have two vinyl copies, one vintage, one from 2017-ish. Uh, but, wow. This was worth the money, I think, just for the package. Oh, this is uh, removable, uh, looks like. you got to be very careful here. I think I already ripped something. But that's okay, as long as this side is intact, I'm fine. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm wondering if this was the original back cover, or maybe... Yeah, it wouldn't be the inner sleeve. They weren't that um, elaborate with inner sleeves. Ooh, this might tear a little bit, so be careful when you're removing the rubber cement. But, ooh, look at this. This is nice. Yeah, some of the paper on this backing came up. You might be able to see a little bubble there. But look at all that. You got you got Sparky right there, Vince Garaldi, Lee Mendelson, and Bill. M There's Snoopy. There's Snoopy. But the reason I think this is a back cover is it's uh, got some hype for other albums on Fantasy Records. Uh, jazz impressions of that. I'm pretty sure they mean jazz impressions of a boy named Charlie Brown. Ah, cast, there you go, uh, Jazz Impressions of Black Orpheus. Yep, that's, where, that's what gave us Cast Your Fate to the Wind, which is what started this all up in the first place. So there you go. Um, this thing has a date with my computer, so I can rip this into iTunes and put it on my phone and then my iPod and then my laptop and uh, in lossless format and on my main desktop where I usually work eight to ten hours a day so I can listen to it in higher quality there. Ooh, in fact, <laughs> I just might listen to the high-res stuff on there. <laughs> don't know about the Atmos, because I don't have Atmos equipment. Uh, you can get, uh, all you need is a special pair of headphones. Of course, you got to pay like 300 bucks for one of those. But anyway, I'm really excited about this. I'm looking forward to it.